falar ao pai. Tira lá, pai. Logo. Dá-me o teu prato. This was an enemies to lovers kind of story. Um, it seemed that one of the love interests were trying to steal pears um, from the farm and obviously the other girl is unhappy. They have this little moment um, and I think in the end it's revealed that she picked all of these pears from the farm for the farm girl. Um, this was very ominous in the beginning and I liked the intro with the drive-in from uh, by the pear farm a lot and I really like the dramatic effect of the scene at the end where she throws the boxes of pears and the crazy huge shocking pile of pears. Um, I thought it was very well made. I feel like there was definitely a comparison between the rejected pears and these women. Um, I just liked it a lot like being rejected. Um, was a nice way to kind of present that. It's a different creative way to do that. It was a very nice opening. I liked driving by the orchards, um, the rows of the orchard. And I thought um, there was a really great shot of the daughter while she's standing in the orchard through the tree. Really cool um, shot of her profile. And this actually left me wanting more. I wanted to see how this woman kind of develops and comes into her own and and really see more of all of the characters I thought it was nicely acted um editing was great and everything technically really was there for me it's really striking about this piece to me is just how quiet it is at the start of the film it's uh, the absence of music was very very um noticeable and they almost gave it a secretive tone in some points like when they were um, sneaking around in the, the, the fruit fields and almost felt very quiet as if, you know, we're not supposed to be here. And, and just little quiet moments of, of contemplativeness um, was really poignant throughout. And then, so when the music is finally placed underneath, it really gives this dramatic effect. And the scene where she's dumping the fruit boxes clearly showcasing a major release for this character. And it, it, it had a dramatic point of view as, as the music is corresponding to every throw. And you really could see the difference between not having it and having it. It was beautiful. The story, the cinematography, you could feel the frustration of what seems like a dysfunctional family. They are very, very strong. And, the fact is that she does seem to have a crush on this girl. Laura has a, even though has a crush on this girl, he's trying to steal from her father's farm. And it feels very relatable with her father talking about there's other places of their country where people want to work, but not at his, not in his area where they're all working it. And then her brother going, he wants to go work out when I would think lifting hairs at an orchard is working out as you lift the buckets day in and day out as you pick pears in the hot sun but this film had a lot of it. it felt like a very relatable family film with the family dynamics there and their bowing to familial pressure the story is fantastic for that reason alone i feel like it's pretty beautiful visually like in this film in terms of the characters i feel like there's so many things going on like in the protagonist like she's not like a typical kind of girl. She has like a boyish like personality and she of course wants freedom. She wants to do whatever like she wants to. And the movie just kind of like show her like in that side when she kind of tag along with a group of friends trying to steal like the pairs from her own archer to do something else. So I feel like it's kind of like coming of age in a way for the character to kind of like coming like like along with like the idea of friends, the idea of being herself and, you know, sustaining like what she really want out of her life, which is like freedom. So I feel like the, the short film is pretty well done to tell like the story of the character, well shot beautifully and everything is kind of like all together, like united.